sadly, in the United States, nine out of 10 people who need access to justice, an attorney in a, in a civil matter that might affect their housing, their benefits, their income, their children, their, their livelihood, their, their health, their well-being, are not able to get an attorney because they can't afford one. Our justice system is set up on the premise that you need a lawyer, you need a fancy education to be able to, you know, get the basics. Um, and for people who are poor and don't have money and don't have access to that system, um, it can be daunting. The power of Pro Bono Net is transformative. The original goal of Pro Bono Net was really to try and uh, tap into the power of technology to overcome barriers to providing legal services to poor people. We have a point of view on access to justice as an organization. We strongly believe that access to justice means just that, opening up the doors to the courts and the justice system for the low income, moderate income people. The value of Pro Bono Net comes from you know, hundreds and thousands of small little acts that we help facilitate. That could be connecting somebody to a lawyer, a volunteer lawyer, which is a great thing, or uh, just actually connecting somebody to a piece of information that can help them uh, help themselves. In a very tangible way, Pro Bono Net has been the group that's brought other people in the room. Legal aid groups, pro bono groups, court systems, bar associations have all come together to help build an information system that helps people address their legal needs. A key part of Pro Bono Net's mission is the collaboration. We collaborate both with our partners, they collaborate with each other within their state to build these really innovative, um, complex, dynamic statewide websites. The power of Pro Bono Net is in the network. It's the hundreds of organizations, thousands of lawyers, and other legal workers who are engaged in trying to figure out how to provide better services to low-income and vulnerable communities, how to provide them with greater access to justice and greater outcomes to the struggles that they're facing in their daily lives. And the importance of the technology is that it becomes a tool to connect and empower that group of people. Access to justice is, is, is one of the most important features of a democracy that I can think of. Justice is when someone can get on a website and find out that the eviction they were just served with by their landlord is unlawful and they get to stay in their house. I think we have the largest law firm for poor people in Georgia, courtesy Pro Bono Net. The power of Pro Bono Net is that it's really trying to increase access to justice one app at a time. 